Queen Trina and Tobago. Welcome to Mid Morning Life, where we look at our lifestyle, health, beauty, entertainment, and fashion. I'm your guest host, and I'll be filling in for Deanne Mohammed, who's under the weather. From all of us here, get well soon. Today is Entertainment Friday, where we will have three special guests. First up is the soccer artist, Mr. Renzo, and after that, we'll have panelist, Mr. Roy Mortina. You're watching Mid Morning Life. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi and welcome back to Mid Morning Live. Today I have a great friend, a friend of mine, Mr. Renzo. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. He, he's actually a soca Latin artist. Yeah. So tell us a little about about yourself. Well, I've been doing this for the past uh, twelve years now, trying to get it in the, the Caribbean uh, market system, meaning that I've been meshing the soca, Latin, and other genres. Um, so far, I think um, this year will be a very um, great year to introduce new music, new style, because the younger generation now are uh, open to, to new music and that's why we, we came up with this idea, Colita, that was produced by um, Julio Productions. And well, Julio always uh, encouraged me to do a full soca in Spanish. And I'm like, um, I don't know if it's the right time to say, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So he got his wishes for it, so <laughs> that's where Colita came from. Yeah. So what style of music do you, what genre do you do, like, do you experiment? Yeah, I do a lot of experiments and uh, my past hits have a, like, a Latin soca dance hall to it. One of my biggest songs were, was with um, Idonia, Benny Abak, and um, with the Jiggle, Bam Bam Jiggle, that, that, that was um, tearing up the airwaves all over the world. So we wanted to find the right formula to bring out um, the soca music to the the, uh, what, Latin music so, the, so what is your inspiration? Where does your inspiration come from? Well, my inspiration is me, you know, I mean, and like, I, I live life to the fullest. Um, I'm basically sh showing Trinidad and Tobago and the world who I am. I'm, I was born in Venezuela, grew up in Trinidad and Tobago. So I think it's important for people to know who you are, who I am, and know that the, the stuff that I'm bringing out is, is me, you know. Tell us a little bit about your first performance ever. I'm sure that was just... My first performance, always the most um, memorable. Meaning that um, I remember first time going on stage, I was like, um, I don't know if I can do this or I was so nervous. Where it was? It was in Maracas Bay by uh, Uncle Sam. Okay. That was like the first, first official performance when I when I started off at, with the Super K, Lorenzo Gonzalez. Uh, I remember the first thing that was more bit it. And going on the stage, I was like, totally totally scared but as soon as i touched my the, the crowd it just responded amazingly and from there i was like nah i have to do this as a career this this is not this can't be a hobby this and how hobby. many years you were like how many years ago did you start your career well officially uh 12 years but i've been singing from since i'm um, seven years old mm -hmm. uh, always writing poems my gran my grandma was a, a poet and she um trained me to, to write uh, songs and poems and stuff like that and I was always a, a nervous guy back in the days. I'm still kind of um, shy at times. You are shy? I don't yeah, think well, so. Well, behind cameras and without a microphone, I'm a very shy person, meaning I'm re uh, more reserved. Uh, uh -huh. And um, I remember performing with the school choir and stuff like that. I was like, Put me in the back, please. <laughs> I don't want no one to see me. You know, the back line always end up being a front line in the yeah. future. Yeah, yeah. So, tell us a little bit about some artists that you collaborated with. I collaborated with uh, Busy Signal, mm -hmm. Idonia, Saucy Wow, Ravi B, uh, Nessa Preppy, well, of course, Nenita from Colombia, um, Mr. Killer. There's so many, so many, so many. And who you would like to collaborate with? I mean, I'm sure you have somebody in your mm -hmm. mind that you would like to collaborate in the future with de and work with. Definitely, what I think um, would be great for the world is uh, Mr. Worldwide with Mr. Red to the world. I mean, mm -hmm. it makes sense, it, it, it looks good together, which means um, Pitbull and, mis and myself. I think that would be a great yeah. pair, Pitbull and you. Yeah, everyone will, will be like, wait, well, yeah, we want to... We have a little resemblance going on <laughs> as well, right? Uh, I didn't think so, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm me, you know. So I've heard that your mother yeah. is actually a psychic. Did she yeah. tell you anything about your future, that you're going to be a star? Uh, yeah, she always tells me that, <laughs> since I was small. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think a mom will see it, like, uh, generally moms actually see without having that um, psychic ability. You know, everyone have that inner psyche, 
uh, inside of them and moms could tell, okay, well, yeah, you have the potential to do this, to do that, you know, parents are like that, you know. Yes, of course. So my mom is still my mom at the end of the day, uh, even though she's a, a psychic or whatever, um, she's still there for me and my number one fan. <laughs> What's your fun this moment? Fun moment, I would say, uh, was the tour that I did in Colombia. Mm -hmm. Um, the reaction from the crowd was like amazing. I didn't expect like uh, the Colombians to, to greet the soca music. And from there I was like, nah, I have to really bring something different to the table. Not just um, doing it in English, but in Spanish, for the Spanish speaking market. And so far so good, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to go very soon again to Colombia. You know, Colombia have their carnival too in Barranquilla. The same time as... Right, uh, of course, of course. Carnival, as well as Panama. Also, an artist I forgot to mention was um, Dulfi, he's, uh -huh. like, he's based in Panama too, I also collaborated with him. Uh, Panama also very open towards the soca music and yeah. So what 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 is your plan for Carnival this year? Plans, I mean, plans, I mean, uh, a lot of plans. Uh, I'm still working on doing my next single, when well, mm -hmm. the single is out, but just tweaking certain things. Uh, I have a rhythm coming out soon too, called the Flamingo Rhythm with myself, Mr. Killer. Father Moses and three Panamanian uh, artists and um, another single for, for Nanita. Yeah. Oh, nice. Because she's a new design artist with my company, Mr. Renzo Music. Correct. So the single for her is coming out very soon too. I'd love to see it. I can't <laughs> wait. Yeah. I have one more question to ask you yeah. here. Is that what what is the most difficult moment as an artist? The difficult moment I would say is uh, trying to get your, yourself out there. I mean, the social media is a... It's a, one option. Yeah, it's one option, one, one avenue to get your music out there, but I really want the world to, to hear what I have to offer. Um, um, you know, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes money, it takes the right team to put together to make things happen, you know. Correct. And with that, Trina, I think Trina has a good response for you as yeah, well. Yeah. I think this new single that you're releasing will, yeah. you know, be successful because it's a unique it's, you have a unique niche yeah, i would say that and the music video music video sorry been tearing up the 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 social media also after give thanks to sheldon buckmeyer and um, sean nebula for producing and directing the, this amazing video also give thanks to the sponsors to shaza mali from tobago house and resorts uh drunken joe's tobago too and without them this won't happen, this project won't happen. Also, JD is exclusive for Dressing Me and Nenita. <laughs> so, well, you have a lot of support. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. You know, I have to thank the Trinidad and the Trinidad for always supporting me, you know. Even though I've been um, trying this for, for years, uh, I think that people want to see me su succeed in life. Of course. Yeah, uh, I want to represent Trinidad to the fullest and I also need the support from me. Children and Tobago to, to help me take it to the Latin market. You know? Of course, and one thing I admire about you is your positivity. Yeah, yeah. You have a great sense of positivity. Yeah, well, of course, yeah, yeah. you need the positive energy to, to um, you know, excel in life, you know, with all that, then you're going down. Yeah. Of course. So, we're here with Mr. Renzo. We'll be right back after this break. Back to Mid Morning Live. I'm here with N Nanita, yes. and who is featured in Mr. Renzo's video. Tell us a little bit about the video. Uh, as a, the video was uh, shot in Tobago. Um, again, I have to give thanks to Shaza Mali for making this thing possible mm -hmm. and a reality. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, working with these guys, uh, well, Sean Nebula and Sheldon Buckmeyer, is amazing. I mean, this whole project was completed in like six days. Editing, um, shooting everything six days so to me that's like a like an amazing experience to because i've worked with the directors in the past and normally it'll take like three weeks a month two months to finish a video and this one is on like five five to six days you know so and you shot everything in trinidad of course no that was done in tobago right. and one minor scene was done in, in trinidad but still yeah. it's trinidad and tobago it's still highlighting yeah. <laughs> so let's hear about nanito tell us about you <laughs> me <Yeah. laughs> Um, I sing since I was six years old. 
and and always um, have that um, um, dream, like to be singing with somebody like Renz or no away because you know in Colombia we speak Spanish. Of course, the artists are from there, so they're like somebody like him. But you see now, he launched me as an artist, and I am very happy to have this opportunity. And this was like when I take him to Colombia last year. Um, and he was in a big concert with an artist named his name is Mr. Black. Was like the response of the people was for me like wow. And then is when we start to plan with them so this idea to carry the soccer to the Latin market more like deep. Of course. And mix this colita song is uh, soca de bo. The bo is from Dominican Republic. Yeah. But since we release this like the response with people in Chile are like wow yes. I am happy for that, and I still working in my single, and but this is a surprise for the people. <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah. how, how are you enjoying Trinidad and Tobago? Oh, I love Trinidad. Is I am here since 2007, <coughs> learning about the culture, oh. having nice friends, and now working with him is like I get in a lot of experience and different type of. Things, you know. Or do you miss home? Yeah, plenty. <laughs> when I went last year and I enjoyed myself three months there, um, I see all my family. I spend time with my mom, my father, and my uncle. And you know, my family, they um, they have um, actors and they have models there. My uncle who sings, everybody knows him in Colombia. So we have a good, good time. We meet um, different people like in TV, he have a lot of interviews. So we was enjoying a lot. Yeah, it was fun and nice. That's people great. waiting for him now. They like text me and say, Francis, what happened? When you coming, when you coming? I was like, well, oh my God, we working in Trinidad, but soon we will be there. Yeah. Awesome. So let's check out this lovely video that we've yeah. been raving around for the past. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the audience really want to see that. And I think the audience also wants to find out what colita means. Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. Does it, what does it mean actually? Tail. Tail. So oh. mean basically wine in your tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're bringing the Inuit culture with the Latina culture, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, of course, of course, yeah. So let's check it out right now. music in the Latin market. Um, I think music is not just about um, lyrics, but it's the right song and the right tune. Mm -hmm. to go with it. Music is a universal language and I think the rhythm speaks our language, the soca music. Um, and a lot of people say, okay, when are you going to do an English, English version of that? I'm like, okay, well, you never know, you could, you could do a remix. You could probably do a remix, yeah. but I think this is really a new genre. Yeah. And you think that you offer to the market yeah, as well. Yeah. I think it will be well accepted. Yeah. Um, I would like to ask you that why 
well, what is next to be seen of you? Where you'll be appearing? What, what, when is your next concert? Well, um, you know, <laughs> tomorrow is my um, birthday, right? Oh, well, happy birthday in advance. <laughs> tomorrow is my birthday and I'll be celebrating my birthday in Darren's uh, bar in, in Pity Valley. Valley. Pity Valley, okay. Yeah, we're going to have a live performance, myself, Nanita. And an uh, artist from Venezuela, he's a reggaeton artist. Yeah, P.O. Prince and Gabriel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the show like, we're going gonna, we're gonna to be like Latin meets soca and something refreshing. Everybody invites. So guys, you have to check this out. <laughs> yeah. You need to go check this eight out. Eight till. Yeah, eight until. And then, well, of course. I know. think you're all going to be like, do more, do more. I think a lot of the crowd is going to be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, of course. And well, so get know. prepared to be yeah. more than 10 o'clock, I think so. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we have our Wednesday nights in um, La Havana. That's um, Latin night. Every every Wednesday we promote it, and, and so far the response is amazing. There too, a lot of people come. Different cultures come to vibe it. Um, ladies free before to have free drinks. Yes. So you can't go wrong with that, you know. <laughs> we have Latin dancers too. Like what you see in the video, we have uh, Trini models, um, Venezuelan girls too. Colombian. Colombian, yeah. yeah. I think honestly that you know you're bringing a new a new market yeah. Yeah. appreciation for Latin music Spanish music yeah. and I think a lot of the the Latina Spanish uh, people who live in Trinidad Tobago will appreciate this market and they'll be yeah, like oh. people like I people like living here for years like oh my god I I, I so proud my like Colombia no like wow I so proud that we have you in here and teaching people our 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 culture our like. Yes, and, and she said, I want to meet you, it's a girl. And I was like, wow. But she says, many of us here that we don't know that you was like trying to um, uh, teach people here. Okay. And I was like, no, they have to come and enjoy and learn about us more. Not only, not only um, Latinos in uh, Trinidad, but we have a lot of foreigners come for, for carnival that want to hear something different and something new to them and i think it will work well it will work very well i think that you should you should just <laughs> do a lot more yeah, so far <laughs> the song been buzzing all over facebook uh, with a previous interview yeah. um that's probably about almost three hundred thousand people wow yeah. that's you view that on, on facebook you know laughing and cracking up because it's actually a funny thing you know we were performing with two, two other guys yeah everybody really wanted to see me winding the colitas or like <laughs> yeah. 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 I think honestly you will get a really good review. I mean I'm seeing the success already on yeah, your faces yeah. and yeah. just by seeing the video I can't I can't say no, this is a horrible thing. I mean this yeah. is really great. Yeah the, the quality thank of the you. video I mean it's such a new standard yeah. for Trinidad and Tobago yeah, I must course, say. Yeah. And I would like to thank both of you, especially Nandita for coming oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. You would like to thank anybody? Well I'd like to thank my, my team, my management team. Um, also, all my fans who've been supporting me from day one, thanks to Cherise, thanks to Alana, thanks to my good friend um, Adriana from, from Venezuela, um, who's watching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. She's very excited to see us yeah. today. And also we... Take care, Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> also, we expanded on our management team too, so I would like to thank um, the people who's going to jump on board with, with my company and we're looking to take this to the next level, you know, because yeah. without having the right team backing you, you won't reach, for, you won't progress, you know? Of course, you, you of course. Yeah. I think that moral support is everything for an artist. Yeah. 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 That then, makes or break the artist yeah. as well. And then you, you asked me earlier on what's, what's um, the most difficult thing about being an artist. Another thing too is, um, you know, trying to listen to the right people because so many people have um, opinions. You should do this, you should do that. And to me, you should follow your instincts, you know. Um, that, that's the I best. I think you're a risk taker. Yeah, you only have to take a risk in this industry because if you don't, then you'll okay. just be like anybody else. You know? Of course. I'd like to thank both of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank stay, you very much. Stay tuned for another another segment where we'll have Panis Raw Motila joining us on set. Thank you. Good morning.
Morning Live. I'm Neha Dawa and today we are joined by my great friend. It's a surprise that he's on set with me today, Mr. Roal Motilas. Welcome. Morning. Morning. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Myself, well, what can I say? I'm a panist, a pan soloist, and I'm into the music of um, jazz, pop, contemporary, and Hindu, you know, traditional Hindu song and song, film song. So what is your top moment of being an artist within our shows? Top moment? Um, getting to play alongside Len Boxy Sharp. And what is your most difficult time about being an artist? Difficult times? Uh, I don't think there's any difficult times in this new music because I love. It's a love? Yeah. I would like to ask you, I mean, we had a discussion already where, you know, music is not appreciated within Trinidad and Tobago, especially the arts. Could you elaborate on such? Well, what I could say is, um, and here, here is really a, a small island, right? And um, for summer, you know, there's a lot of uh, mixture of cultures of and course. so on, you know? And but the pan, no, the pan is ranging out into different types of music, especially like um, the pan cataraga, which I'm a creator of, and so on, and with a very special dancer. I wonder who that may be. May I ask who is that? <laughs> it's a secret. It's a secret, okay. Yeah, yeah so um, what I'm doing with the, the pan cataraga is, um, is, is just a blend of the Indian Ragazon pan, seal pan, um, accompanied by the katak dance. But may I ask who that particular name? <laughs> You know that. I, I should know who may I ask. Who is that? Uh, she's um, from Trinidad. Right, yeah, right, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I think she's standing right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, we, we are actually doing a collaboration which is called Pan Kataraga, and it's a very, it's very surprising to know that Raw actually is a guest today. So yeah. yeah. So our dancer is performing most of the time. She will, she will be doing like um, you know, the the kata mixed with the Latin and the Flamenco of course. and Bali. Yeah. Right, well what, what does you think is the most highlighted part of our production, Pan Catarado? The highlight part is that you, um, it's, it's taken off right now and soon it'll be all over. You know, and I would like to see that it, it, it goes away, um, a little you know, beyond on Trinidad and Tobago. Do you think that you um, kind of make, make a mixture, not only with Indian music but actually with you know, African music and these Yes, well, all that is part of the pan Kataraga because we're using the, like the djembe drumming and so on instead of the, the, the traditional, traditional um, tapla player and so on. Of course. So tell me a little bit more of your self experience. What, you have, what is the most thing that you enjoy about being a panist? Uh, it's, a, it's a love, it's a release and I use it as a youth of when course. I was growing up uh, as a release and you know, when you go to school and so on, you know. I, I wanted to be a rock guitarist, but that wasn't, you know, there wasn't that kind of option here at that time in Trinidad. And the closest thing was the steel pan and the, and the pan sides. And what about your jazz side? I know you're a singer as well. <laughs> yeah. I do some singing. Some singing? Oh, oh please, Rolf. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that as well. Well, the singing came about by, um, well, we were singing in our band before. I had a band before, a jazz band. And when the singer never shows up and so on, I will take over and, you know, and get into it. I think a lot of people enjoy your voice. You should see, I, I mean viewers, you should see when Raul perform. You should see his expression. It's priceless. So what is what is one of the main major songs that you, you are right now playing on the Indian, as an Indian genre on the pan? Well, I'm doing film, a lot of film songs and, uh, and a few competitions and so on. And as with the, as I say with the raga, the pan as a raga is just, uh, and I, I most likely, you could say I am, I idolize Ravi Shankar and I take pattern to some of his work and so on. So tell me a little bit about the terms that right now you're an artist, right? And you are in the Society of Trinidad and Tobago, which we both think that there's not much of appreciation of the actual arts within Trinidad and Tobago. What, where do you think you stand in that? Well, it's like a crab in a barrel. <laughs> it's a fight, you know, but everybody has to come with something new, you know, something new to the table. and. You know, I'm trying to put that with the pan cataraga though. Of course. But in the society of arts, right? Especially within your jazz and your rock and the fact that you're mixing all the genres in one. Do you see that appreciation going towards you? Yeah, it could yeah, most likely I think so. I would like to think so because um, you know, we, as I say we need to get something new on, on board and bring take pan to a different level right now. So where, where do people see you? What is your next step? Where are you performing next? Well, 
I have an offer to open the Miss Global um, pageant, international pageant, will be taking place the, um, in Mauritius next year around the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, a few offers I've gotten in England. So you went international now, you're going to represent yes, our country. Yeah. Well, that's really brilliant. So tell us a little more about your competition. Well, there isn't much. <laughs> There's not much to say. Yeah. So what are you working on beside Pan Casaraga? Well, I, 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 I like um, performing alongside other artists, vocalists and so on. You know, um, I, I try my best to, to incorporate the pan in, in the different types of music, you know, like the reggae and the, the jazz and so on. It's just the same style as um, Carlos Santana, the, the great guitarist and so on. That's what we do. So after this, we're going to take a break. And after this break, we're going to actually see Mr. Ron Motila sue us on the pan. Stay tuned for that. Nanita for coming out today and I hope Diane you get really well soon and you join us back on Monday. Till next time you're watching Mid Morning Live. Thank you.